So, hello everyone. This is a video on uh, Wing Chun Fa Jin. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate a bit and then I'm going to get my student to do some when I give him a, a possibility or a chance to do so. so. Okay, so typically speaking, when someone punches, right, you just release energy right away when you bridge. So in other words, this, he, he, uh, go back again, just come in and punch. Whatever, you know, you didn't punch, okay. He has to really give me a committed attack, so he's going to come into about this, this, he's going to come into a distance where he can hit me. So there's going to be power in his arm. So Tayo Li, power coming out. So that means when I bridge in Wing Chun, if I'm not, per se, hitting him, and I just bridge him. So, for example, he's got his hands up, right? You know, he's in a decent guard, right? And he comes forward, right? And so he begins some do da. You just punch with this hand or this hand. He says, can ji wei da. Okay? So I'm like this, I'm picked up, right? Okay, go. And that's kind of what bodging is about. To push someone away and maybe you run. You run away from the opponent. So when he comes forward, right, then I can just basically release and let this guy fly away. And then I by myself for self-defense, I would run away. So the idea of releasing energy is to escape. Because in a self-defense situation, you don't want to engage with this person. You just want to get away from him. So... Uh, for example, with the knife disarm, he comes at me with a knife. I don't want to, you come in and say, I don't want to grab him because he can just cut me. Right, for example, you grab my knife. You grab my knife, okay, I cut you, I cut you, I cut you, I cut you. This is a sewing machine attack. So someone who actually just tried to fight, if I start cutting someone and he grabs my knife, right, a pie cell, a pack cell will... Right, will immediately disarm it. And in fact, when he grabs my knife, I can just cut it right away and go. I just turn the knife, right? He grabs and I turn, and I'm cutting him, cutting him, cutting him, cutting him, cutting him, cutting him. So here is your land cell. So you can see, grabbing someone's knife hand doesn't really work in a self-defense situation. Now what might work is you want to push this guy and run away. In other words, he comes at me with a knife, and even though I may get cut, I still need it. I should run away. I should release energy and get away from the situation, because this guy has a knife. Now, he can chase me. Of course he can chase me after the fact. But the reality is I don't want to grab his arm, right? Because, uh, relax, he can just roll, try and show. He can do all kinds of techniques from Wing Chun, even just the first form. So, for example, he grabs my wrist. I try and show, I go, I cut, cut, cut. Now I got a land cell here. I'm cutting. Uh, this position here goes into his liver, up to his chest. This, 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 you know, I'm starting to chop, 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 chop. I mean, even an untrained person with a knife is going to use a sewing machine attack. So, in reality, someone comes at me with a knife, and I'm back here. And I don't really have a lot of time to prepare. I don't have time to think, oh, yeah, should, should I grab this, right? Just come in and attack. And then I run away. I'm not trying to think about, let's grab his arm, right? And do a takedown, and, and so on, and maybe strip the knife off. Now, these takedowns look pretty cool, but in reality, as I go to, to grab him, as I go, he comes, I grab him, he can just tie, so, tie my elbow, and now he's already cutting me. He just needs to change, he just needs to relax when I grab him. So you see a lot of people do stuff like this, where they, they tie up the arm, and they tie up the arm like this. But that's assuming that this person's going to resist. Okay? When someone resists, yeah, you can do this kind of stuff where you tie up the arm quite tightly, you hug the arm and you engage and try to take away the knife or take him down, you know, strip this knife. 
like make power, use power here. So yeah, yeah, now I, okay, basically I've hugged him, you know, and I can think about doing a takedown. I can think about taking him down and, you know, punching him, take away the knife, and so on and so forth. But in reality, when someone's slack, right, when someone's slack, and he goes to grab and hug my arm, hug my arm, no, that's not, that's not hugging my arm. So, for example, when he grabs your wrist, in Wing Chun, you just chop like this. That's just your first move in the Ba Chum Dao, the double swords. Double swords, someone grabs you, you, you just go like this. As soon as he goes to grab my wrist, fall. I'm chopping, I'm chopping, I'm cutting, 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 cutting. There is no grab of your wrist without something. As soon as he touches my wrist, I'm engaged for cut. See, I can just go like this to stop someone grabbing my wrist. So he grabs my wrist, right? Even if he does get a hold of my wrist, right? He, the fact that I can move my wrist, right? I can trend show here. I can, I can box out, turn, chop, chop, chop. In other words, I can rotate my wrist on that, on that power, right? If I want to grab my wrist, I can just chop first. I can cover it and chop. This is very simple wind chuck. This is very basic stuff that's taught first form. It's not complicated. He grabs my wrist this way. Again, I'm chopping, I'm chopping. I'm taking him down. You know, I'm going to kill him here. So I have my knife, and he wa and the person wanting to grab your wrist, this is a very dangerous situation for someone like this. He grabs my wrist, right? I come in. This is double grab, for example, double grab, two, right? He does grab my wrist, and he wants to go for something, right? The fact that I can punch him and release energy at the same time, even if he did manage to hold it, I'm just going to punch him, I'm going to chop, 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 chop. And here I am, whether I'm this way or this way, it really doesn't matter. I have a lethal weapon in my hand, and I can keep going. Thank you for watching.